Misses outside. Full count three and two. The pitch. Got him. Now two out. Well, oh, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Foster batting for the second time. And that's strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. And the 0-2. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. So one left for Cincinnati. Steep hill to climb. It's a 9-0 deficit. back and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth number 47 and with the big deficit on the scoreboard he almost has to just put that out of his mind every outing matters for relievers and their numbers but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game Julio Caesar now at the plate he's got the power but great contact skills one of the best contact hitters in the game that one finds the corner Strike one. You know, these Padres digging into their numbers have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They have five extra base hits on the stat sheet so far, and that tells me they're seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well. That to right. And there's one down. With all those extra base hits, it's easy to think we're going to see that trend continue oh, the rest of the game. They seem to be really locked in at the plate. Now it's the power speed combo. Martin Quinones. Fouls one off out of play. Back to our left. And that one hammered. This one's got a chance. That one is gone. He circles the bases, and they boost their lead. It's 10-0. That pitch was intended to stay inside, but it leaked out over the middle of the plate. Hitter waited on it, and he connected just perfectly. So one out, nobody on. Tony Rodriguez, the next up for the Padres. He swings and misses at the first pitch, 0-1. And the right hater deals. Hit hard on the ground is short. Slings it across. Rodriguez out of the play. Oh, Boog, we talk about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. So the San Diego batting order turns over. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, J.C. Diaz. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. Outside. One strike. And the righty deals. Just a weak fly ball this time. And that's a fair ball. 
Foster throws to second. Not in time. It's a double. I feel like. I've seen more balls, and this is speaking as a, a former outfielder, former center fielder, but more balls in this game, just out of the reach. Sometimes the angle's not great. Other times, just got to give credit because the hitters hit the ball really hard. It jumped off the bat. But one thing we do know is warmer temperatures are very, very favorable for the hitters. High fly ball out towards left field. That's back, and it is gone. That one felt good, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 12-0. His bat looks like it's in the zone for such a long time, and that gives him the ability to get barrel on it and hit the ball out to any part of the park. Pitcher for the Reds, number 40. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep this score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. So two away with nobody on. So digging in now for San Diego, Cesar Julio. And first offering is fouled off. Yeah, that's outside. The one one. That one missing inside. Now fly ball to right center. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that is that. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. Last half of the fifth coming up. Back after this on the show. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. And now the shortstop, number 13. Shortstop, number 13. And the right hander back to work. And that one is in for a strike. Well, these All Reds, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And one and two. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. And a pitch. That one lifted to left. Julio should have this one. And he makes the catch. One up, one down. Now batting, the designated hitter, Bernie. And next is the designated hitter, Bernie Carver. Oh. 
And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Ball, that's it. And that's in for a strike. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Picks up strikeout number seven. Flipped that screwball up there and got him to swing through it. It's kind of part changeup, part curveball, or reverse curveball, I guess. And clearly, it's got some good movement on it. We just don't get to see a good one very often, so it's kind of fun to see. And that was a great one right there. Griffey stands in now and watches strike one. To the right side. In plenty of time to first. Three up, three down, inning over. And one, two, three go the Reds. Hasn't been their day. It's 12-0. Back here at the ballpark, start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading Jose. off, Jose Manuel. And here it comes. And a good eye there. Bullpen activity starting up now. Pedro Borbone loosening up for manager David Bell. Next pitch in for a strike. And a count one and one. The one one is fouled off. That one ran inside, almost got him. The pitch. That one just misses. And yeah, the count is filled up. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Rodriguez stands in here, takes ball one low. Next pitch is popped up. Rose settles underneath it, and there's two away. Now that is the designated hitter. Here's a big power threat, Martin Pena. He's already homered in this game. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. Sliced hard, but foul. He's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. That one hammered center field. That's back. And that one is going to go. A towering shot to center. His second home run of the game. And they tack one on the board. It's 13-0. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one. And... Everything was 